just yesterday I picked up this new kayak. I looked up a local park and campground that has a nice lake in the middle. I think it's like a 350 acre lake. So we're gonna go check it out today. Check this out, look how beautiful it is here. I've thought in the past about converting a van into a camper or maybe getting a teardrop or something like that. But in May, I finally decided I wanted to pull the trigger and order a runaway camper, which is kind of like a mini camper. I got, I think, the biggest model that they make, which is called a Rouser. Um, I think the origin of the company was they made these really small campers that were just big enough to kind of lay down and sleep in. Over time, they made them wider and now taller. And my idea is that I can make it flexible enough that I can use the camper with a whole family by making something like bunk beds. Flexible enough that I could just take it out for a weekend by myself, bring some of my gear. So that includes a kayak that I just bought yesterday. We're gonna take that out right now. That includes a mountain bike, and it includes my paramotors. Let's go out in this water, check out this lake in this park. Yeah, so I'm really happy with this kayak already. I just got it yesterday. I had a chance to take it out yesterday. Today I'm at uh, Cane Creek Park, which is near Waxhaw, North Carolina. It's not too far from where I live, but I'm already feeling like I'm getting the ability to adventure a little bit with this kayak. And that's what it's all about. You know, I like to get out and uh, spend some time in nature and explore. I was telling you a little bit about the camper that I ordered and I feel like that's going to allow me to do even more. The whole name of the game for that camper, flexibility. I want it to be set up so that I could take the whole family. Man, look at all the ducks. What a great place. So I'll tell you a little bit about this kayak. This is the Pelican Maxim 100. The reason that I wanted to get this kayak is that it's super lightweight, just uh, 38 pounds. And I intend to put it up and down on the roof, either of my vehicle or the camper. So I want something that's super lightweight. I also wanted something that's affordable because this is actually my first kayak and I don't know how much am I gonna use it. Uh, how secure are the places gonna be where I am? I would hate to get a super expensive uh, kayak like some of the ones that I've been interested in are you know seventeen hundred dollars twenty seven hundred dollars and I would hate to get something like that and find out that I'm traveling in places that are not really secure and either have it stolen or have security dictate where I go and what I do I'd rather have the freedom to have a more affordable kayak there and if I lose it I can replace it but it really tracks well and it glides so smoothly through the water, you hardly need any effort to get it moving. So it feels like a great option to me. The other thing is I could get even slightly more affordable kayak, but it didn't come with these rod holders in the back, a rod holder in the front that I can secure and swivel and angle, and also a little dry well in the front. And then also I have location in the back where I could hook in like a crate or a cooler and some of the other more affordable kayaks did not have all those options. I will say you could save maybe a couple pounds, maybe two pounds by not having some of that stuff, but uh, I'm really happy with the combination of weight and then some of those extra features. Today I'm in Cane Creek Park which is near Waxhaw, North Carolina. They have tons of hiking trails, bike riding trails. They have boat ramps. You could bring any type of boat, canoe, or kayak here. Uh, they have family campgrounds, primitive campgrounds, and uh, all kinds of shelters that can be rented. 
So I would say it's really a great park in terms of amenities and options. And in fact, I'm looking forward to doing some uh, mountain biking here in the future and uh, perhaps some hiking today. Man, look at this beautiful little spot. How peaceful. What a fun way to explore the shoreline. It seems to me the way this park is set up, they have two trail systems. On one side of the lake, they have a trail system for day use. On the far side of the lake, they have campgrounds, family campgrounds, primitive campgrounds. And they have a whole other trail system over there. So you can find some really private spots over here on this side of the lake. Look at that, the wind blew the tree back and it lifted its entire root system. That would be a perfect place for a fish, although I don't see any there. Maybe I scared them all away. Pretty little cove here. It's been windy. You heard me mention before that uh, I do an activity called paramotoring. That's a sport that I would not do on a very windy day. It can be dangerous. People are familiar with hang gliding, but they're not super familiar with paragliding and paramotoring, at least here in the US. But there are thousands of people who paramotor here. Uh, essentially, you have a paragliding wing above you, and you're in a harness with a propeller on your back. And so you can fly. You don't go terribly fast, you can fly typically about 25 miles an hour. I spent the last year and a half learning about paramotoring and then becoming familiar with the sport. It's been one of the most exciting hobbies I've ever been involved in. I was able to buy this at uh, Academy a Sporting Goods Store and they had it in stock. I could buy it online and pick it up that day. And I've been super impressed with uh, just how fast I can move, how stable I feel on the water, and I mean, I feel like I can just cruise around this lake so easily. So, really happy. The other thing is, it's brought me to all these beautiful little coves that I've gotten to explore today. And that's exactly the type of thing I want to use this for. If I had any criticism so far, I would say that this rod holder is a little bit far for me to reach. Other than that, I'm very happy. The wind and the waves have really picked up and you can still see that this kayak is doing very well in this condition. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. If you enjoyed it, I hope you'll come back and check out the next one.